So we have to find the points on the ellipse for x squared plus y squared equals 4 that are farthest away from point negative 1, 0. So if we write our ellipse in starter form, that's going to be x squared over 1 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. That's the standard form. And this ellipse is going to be look like something like this. So we're going to start with isolating y from this formula, from this function. So we're going to write for x squared plus y squared equals 4. And I'm going to left only y on the left side, and that's going to be y squared equals 4 minus 4x squared. And we take root on both sides and we get that y equals positive or negative square root of 4 minus 4x squared. And we're going to use just positive square root of 4 minus 4x squared and get the other point by symmetry. So let the point be x as x coordinate and as y coordinate we're going to use square root of 4 minus 4x squared. And now we're going to use distance formula to get distance from uh, the point from this point to point negative 1, 0. So the formula for distance is square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared, where x1, y1 are coordinates for the first point, and x2, y2 are coordinates for a second point. So we substitute the coordinates of our points and we get the distance equals x minus negative 1 squared plus square root of 4 minus 4x squared minus 0 squared. After simplifying, we get square root of x squared so here we have x plus 1 squared, so it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. And here we can get rid of square root. And we get plus 4 minus 4x squared, which equals to square root of 5 plus 2x minus 3x squared. And now we have to find a value of x such that uh, the distance is going to be the maximum, the biggest. So for this, we gonna find, we're going to take derivative of t and set it equal to 0. So derivative equals to, uh, so it's going to be derivative of square root of 5 plus 2x minus 3x squared. And here we're going to use chain rule. So that's going to be 1 over 2 square root of 5 plus 2x minus 3x squared and multiply by derivative of linear function, which is going to be uh, 2 minus 6x. So in our case, this fraction has to be equal to 0, and it could be only if the numerator equals to 0, so it's 2 minus 6x equals 0. So we get that x equals, equals to 1 third. And now we're going to substitute this value into a function of y. So we get that y equals positive or negative square root of 4 minus 4x squared. That's going to be positive or negative 4 minus 4 over 9. That's positive or negative 32 over 9 which is, after simplifying, positive or negative 4 square root of 2 over 3. So the points which are the farthest from negative 1, from the point negative 1, 0, are 1 third negative 4 square root of 2 over 3, and 1 third 4 square root of 2 over 3. So that's the answer.